In this tutorial, we'll see how to manage Palo Alto security rule using Ansible. We'll be using the module called panos underscore security underscore rule. This is having provision to give source zone, destination zone, source IP, destination IP. And by default, action is going to be allow. Even if you don't give it, by default, this is going to allow the traffic. And this is having multiple configuration states such as present, absent, merged. If you give present, it will try to create the policy. If you give absent, it will delete it. And if you want to update it, you can give merged. For disabling the policy, we can give disabled equal to true. Then it will try to disable the particular policy. And then we have option to give the position of the policy. If you want to put it on top of all the other policies or in the bottom, you can give that option. And based on another rule also we can give the position for example here if you give existing rule LAN to internet it will try to put before this particular policy and if you give after it will try to put after LAN to internet policy now we'll go to the documentation this is the documentation here we can see the default action is allow and here also we'll be passing the provider then we have configuration state so we can give present absent or merged then we have location and within location we can give either top bottom before or after and if you're using before and after we need to give existing policy i'll open that so here we have a parameter called existing rule and if location is before or after we need to give this particular parameter so first we'll try to gather the existing policies i'll go to vs code here i'm using the module panos underscore security rule state is gathered and gathered filter is all and i'm registering this to security rule and Printing it. We'll verify the firewall configuration. Here I have only one custom rule. It is LAN to internet. We'll try to run the playbook. I'll give 06. Enter. And here we have currently only one policy. And we can set all these parameters, but I have defined only some of the basic parameters here. The source zone is trust and address is LAN host one and destination is untrust and I'm allowing all the traffic. Now we'll try to create a policy. I'll uncomment this. And here also I'm using same module and rule name is going to be test rule one. Source zone is trust, destination is untrust, and source IP will give LAN host two here. Then destination IP will give any. And if you want, we can give an action. Hello. Then state even if you don't give the default state is going to be present for learning purpose i'm just adding everything here save it and here we'll try to register this to a variable register tool response i'll copy this and print the response save it and we'll try running this now you can see here changed is one i'll go to firewall refresh and here we can see the new rule which is created now if we try to 
add additional host what i'll do i'll try adding lan host one here running again go to firewall refresh it and here we can see now this is trying to overwrite the config it is trying to replace the existing host if you want to add additional host you need to change the configuration state here i'll change this to merged and here i'll give lan host 2 because currently we have lan host 1 here now we'll run it again this time configuration is changed we'll verify the firewall config so now we have these two hosts added here now if you want to add another object we'll try to add this particular ip range copy this and put it here save it and we'll run it again go to policies and now this range also got added here now if you want to disable the policy here within the policy i'll give disabled I'll refresh the page now this policy got disabled if you want to change the position of this particular policy we can comment the disabled I'll give location top now this will put on top of all the other policies but here we have only one policy so it will try to put about this and now if you want to put it in the bottom we can give bottom now if we give before we have to give another mandatory parameter existing rule and we'll copy this particular rule now we'll run it will refresh the page now this is putting before this particular policy same like that if we give after after this will try to put after this particular policy now here this is putting after the policy if you want to delete this policy we can give state absent i'll run the playbook i'll refresh the page so now this policy got deleted in this way we can add delete or update security policies using ansible